The booby trap device, which the IRA claimed contained two pounds of Semtex, had been planted underneath the RUC man's car and exploded as he left his home at Dalboyne Gardens in Lisburn to drive to church. The policeman, a superintendent in his 50s, died instantly. His wife, who was beside him in the car, escaped injury but suffered severe shock. The dead man, who was based in Newcastle, County Down, had been on sick leave, recovering from a recent heart attack. He was due to retire shortly from the RUC. Meanwhile, the police in Belfast say yesterday's spate of violence in the city was organised as a diversion for a planned mass escape of Republican prisoners from the Crumlin Road jail. The RUC say that yesterday afternoon, one of their patrols found a £500 bomb hidden in the bucket of a JCB digger in the New Lodge Road area, not very far away from the prison here. Later, a number of people were arrested in cars parked in suspicious circumstances around the jail. Inside the prison then, in a search sparked off by those events, security forces found a four-pound Semtex bomb and several rounds of ammunition hidden in a toilet. The supposition now is that the bomb found in the digger was to be detonated to divert the attention of the security forces while the escaping prisoners got away in the waiting cars. The RUC believe that their actions yesterday has prevented a repeat of the mass escape from the Mays prison in September 1983 when 38 Republican prisoners got away. They'd been on their way to a harvest service in this church. Today, alongside her sons, she attended the funeral service there. They heard the minister, a former Presbyterian moderator, Dr Hard Crummy, voice frustration at the continuing violence. As a community, we are tired of the humbug and hypocrisy of those who say after every outrage such as this, Terrorism will be defeated. And yet you at the same time steadfastly refuse to allow the security forces to take the action necessary to bring such terrorism to an end.